Good morning, folks. We've got an update on the tropical storm track, some articles, and of course, space weather. We've seen it quiet down a bit up on the sun, but ramp up a bit here at Earth with the solar wind. No more significant solar flares after the impulsive M-class event we saw yesterday. There are still sunspots to watch, but the story is the onset of the coronal hole stream, which actually was not very fast at all. But the preconditioning from the phi angle flips caused measurable geomagnetic disruptions and instability. And as we switch to the new KP index from NOAA here, we can see that minor magnetic storminess yesterday with us still up off the floor of that scale this morning. The sunspots to watch are the same ones as before, the big umbra, but with little flaring potential at this time. It's actually surprising we even got that one flare yesterday, given the lack of central umbra between those big ones. Folks, the forecast hasn't changed much for the tropical storm. By tonight, it will be impacting the Bahamas, and by tomorrow night, Florida will begin to see its effects as well. Hopefully, those in the vulnerable areas took heed of the warnings. This one is coming in this week. Aesthetic piece up next by the SVS as the biosphere is tracked by satellite over the last five years. Chlorophyll in the ocean, vegetation on land. You'll recall chlorophyll was expected to be in trouble by now with climate change, but it simply continued to thrive. Up first in the articles, we go to a different kind of equatorward propagating space weather impact. This is not like the equatorward traveling waves we have looked at a lot, the ones triggered in the ionosphere via auroral enhancement. Instead, these are much thinner pulses of brightness in the aurora, auroral streamers, which appear to represent enhanced particle precipitation along the north-south magnetic field lines, rather than the full ring wave propagating southward. Just another way that solar energy is injected well beyond the polar region. Lastly here, folks, one of Dr. Roy Spencer's best of the year, revealing an even higher impact of urban heat island effect than previously believed. This is where a sizable piece of the so-called global warming comes from. False data from the abundance of weather stations in artificially enhanced hotter urban areas. Global warming even less than what we're told. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more at the links below the video. Got some discounts on books at our store and still loving these one-on-one -on -one calls with you folks as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.